Hi guys, I'm Kitty Spencer. I'm a model, philanthropist and a brand ambassador. And today I'm going to be taking you on a typical day in my life. I suppose my interest in fashion has really grown in the last few years since I've been in England. I grew up in Cape Town. It's a very relaxed beach town and there's not a lot of emphasis, I suppose, on fashion. I wouldn't say that my mother's influenced my style necessarily. She's certainly given me a lot of knowledge about the fashion industry. My step into modelling started uh, a few years ago. A brand reached out to someone at Storm because they thought that Storm represented me. I wasn't modelling at the time, but Storm did get in touch and I've been with them since. So it was a happy accident, really. The first runway show I did was the Dolce & Gabbana Millennials show. I was far too shy to walk in the show and then my family said you should definitely walk, it's Dolce & Gabbana so I knew that I, they were going to make me feel good and that it was going to be just a wonderful positive experience and I, and I was right. It's just this crazy burst of energy and excitement and there's just absolutely nothing like that feeling. Working in fashion's definitely had a very positive influence on my life. I think it's taught me a lot about myself. You learn definitely how to go with your gut instincts. And also you, you learn a lot about yourself, just physically, what suits you and what you like to wear, what makes you feel good. The build up to the show is definitely far more terrifying than the actual moment. I think the night before you don't sleep because you're so convinced you're going to fall over. So far, so, so good. My style's definitely dependent on my mood, but usually I like a bit of colour. I like things to be feminine and tailored and classic. I've always loved Dolce & Gabbana. I love the way that they celebrate the female form, whatever that form is. I love the fact that their dresses accentuate the waist and they make you feel like a woman in the best possible way. We are at Dolce & Gabbana. I have two work trips next week, one to Rome and one for Milan Fashion Week. So we're here for a fitting to find some fun looks. This was the dress that I wore uh, for a photo shoot in Mexico at the end of last year. It's just the most beautiful dress. Uh, and this is the jumpsuit that I wore. It was a shoot in Milan. I just love these pieces because they sort of show what Dolce & Gabbana do best. It's the simple classic styles but with all the amazing detail. This is the brand new collection so I think for Rome and for Fashion Week in Milan these will be the pieces we try on. I love the skirt, the floral skirt with the white jumper that we found. That's going to be perfect for the shoot that I'm doing when I get to Rome. It's so pretty and feminine and an outfit I would have dreamed of wearing as a little girl. All the white and the gold, it feels kind of like ancient Rome with all the lace detail. We found a great pair of shoes today where the heels, the actual heel is the D and the G. It's beautiful, it feels so feminine and I just, I love this shape. I'll definitely be taking it to Rome. I love the sleeves. They're works of art, these pieces, and so I'm very lucky to wear them for as long as they'll let me, and you know, it really is a dream. So here we are at Centerpoint on Dean Street in Soho. This is the birthplace of Centerpoint. I first became involved with Centerpoint about four years ago. We have a, a family history of being involved. My aunt was patron, my cousin's patron. Now I've been an ambassador for the past few years. They fight to tackle youth homelessness, helping people from the ages of 16 to 25. It's not just about putting a roof over somebody's head. It goes so much further than that and it really helps these vulnerable people get back up on their feet. This year is their 50th anniversary, so there's, you know, they've got a lot of exciting projects on. I'm just so glad that as an ambassador that I can be involved, I can speak on their behalf, I can come to their events and do the sleep out, which is always one of their biggest fundraisers, and that's sleeping out usually on the banks of the Thames. So today when we go to Centerpoint, we'll get to spend some time with Orla Constant, who's the relationship director at Centerpoint. And she's been just a phenomenal force for Centerpoint in terms of fundraising and getting people involved and getting their message out there. The work that Centerpoint does is absolutely essential and I've been so proud to have been involved for the past four years and long may it last. I believe that everybody should feel a responsibility to get involved with the causes that matter to them. 
I'm incredibly fortunate to have a platform that anyone listens to, whether the platform's big or small. I think that I have even more of a responsibility to use that platform. It's reality and it's good to be involved with something and to see things come full circle and to witness such a positive shift in people's lives.